Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Beast Swarm Gaming and yes, I am back and I bet my little bear is all excited. It's like, oh my goodness, you're back. You do care about Beast Swarm and most of all, you do care about me. Yes, but why do you change my name? Are you going to change it back? Are you going to change it back to Ginger? And yes, I was the first name to Ginger. I was the first person to name it Ginger. The first person, okay? I did do this game quick, I got the skin quick, and I named it Ginger, and other people named it Ginger, and I was like, nope, change it Scooter, I don't want to be like everybody else, but yes, I did name it Ginger first, and I'll stick to it until Beast Swarm goes away. That's not me being salty, it's just me saying on record that I had named it Ginger. All right, well, let's claim the hive. I'm not going to count down because that's what everybody does. And I am a rebel. Yes, I am. I am a re 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 rebel. All right. So I went on Beast Swarm Leaks just to see if anything is going on because I do not have an inside man. And I was like, let's see what's going on. Real talk, people. Real talk. You know how it is. And I didn't see anything about Beast Swarm. Still all the same, but I did say that there are some uh, updates, and now I know what the updates are. One was on January 11th, the other one was on January 13th. Now here's the thing. I'm thinking like, okay, now the updates have to do with, um, with, uh, Beesmas, right? You know, it looks like there's stuff going on in the testing realm, which kind of is disappointing, because I'm like, you shouldn't be testing anything. He should be uploading stuff, right? Hey, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I've come to terms with the fact that complaining doesn't do anything. It is what it is. Just don't tell me um, about your family or your life or the things that you hate. Just, it is what it is. Just get it done. Let me get back to enjoying the bee swarm. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So. I'm just happy that there's changes to Beast Swarm. And I'm reading it and I'm like, oh my goodness. I know that with Beast Swarm to keep things interesting, you need to buff things, you need to nerf things. And I'm thinking like, all right, so he hates Mondo Chick. So maybe he's going to do what I think he's going to do, which is that he took away some things. So he has to add some things, right? Because I've always said a game is about balance. A game is that when you take something away, you got to add something, because without it, people just don't want to play it. So, this is what we have. Out of all the things that he could do, he decides to do something that he's done before, which is to make changes to the passives on the Supreme Stars. Yes, on the Supreme Stars, he decides to make some changes. Okay, wow, that's very interesting. All right, but actually, it is very interesting. So there's only um certain stars that he does. He doesn't do like all of them, just a couple of them. So let me go through what I think are the most interesting to... No, 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 let me take that back. Let me build up to the most interesting. Okay, so first... We have Guiding Star, which I've never have. I could have had, but I've never have. Uh, it seems like um, he did a nerf and a buff. So, first the buff. The buff is that the base collection amount increased to 3 pollen 10 times a second, which is up from 2 pollen. I don't know how much that would really do. Uh, the bonus collection amount reduced to 0.5 for every 100 attack total down from 0.5 for every 70 truthfully I don't know what that means I didn't really study it and since I'm never going to get a uh, guiding star in you know I was just like hey well that's cool but it kind of set up the tone of I'm gonna read the others it looks like what he's doing is he's done some thinking and rebalancing things buff nerf buff nerf all right, so then I look at the other ones, and I'm like, oh, okay, so Star Shower, not many people do Star Shower, maybe he's trying to draw people in on that, so now let's look. 
Okay, so it triggers every 40th mark or boost token, which is now from 50. I'm like, okay, well, that's very interesting. That's very interesting because not a lot of um, bees actually do boast boost token. And I can't remember if it was just certain um, bees or just all boost tokens. But if it's uh, down by 10, that's really good. The collection amount has increased by 50% per gifted bee type. That's really cool. And that's up by 20%. It converts 1 million plus 200% of convert total up from 100% of convert total. Another buff. And then he changed a bug. So Star Shower got a lot of buffs. Now I've always thought Star Shower was one that just did not do it you know it was something that uh, it could be activated and actually be hidden behind something in the um in the field it could be anything when in you collect it you could get it in the single digit of millions or you could get some, something as high as I don't know like 50 million but this right here might actually Make it worthwhile, but you have to be active in the field. You can't be like a AFK, right? Then I'm looking at the other ones, and I'm like, okay, so now they have a Gummy Star, which is the one that I have. I'm like, all right, well, I hope they have uh, done this also. The Max Goo Multiplier was buffed to times five from times four. Okay, well, that's cool see um let's see what else did they do the uh honey token bonus per gifted colorless bee type increased to 1.5 percent which is up from 1.25 percent i said wow that's a cool buff and now the gummy star will will now trigger after seven, 75 gumdrops which is down from 100 gumdrops I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. One of the things that people did not like about uh, Gummy Star was the gumdrops thing. Now they still might not like it because you have to use gumdrops, but now you're saving 25 gumdrops per per um uh, per time, right? I mean, you know, you could do simple math and say every four times. That's you know, if it went like all the way, that would be a, a a trigger right there, right? So those are some nice buffs. That's all buffs right there. That's all buffs right there. And if you look at it, it's not leaning toward a uh, a beehive of blue or red, right? So that was very interesting. Star Saw is the next one, but let's go back to Guiding Star. Guiding Star isn't leaning toward blue or red. Gummy Star isn't leaning toward blue or red. However, if we look at Guiding Star and Gummy Star, they do lean toward um, both capacity okay, and staying away from the hive. Meaning that uh, they have to do with um, a lot of pollen and your convert rate, right? Because because with goo, goo has to do with um, uh, IC or um, uh, instant uh, conversion. So with star saw, your base collection amount increased to three pollen, ten times a second. So that's the buff. But there's a nerf final. Your, your bonus collection amount has been reduced to 0.5 for every 100 attack, which is down from 0.5 for every 70. So Star Saw wasn't really popular. It was a secondary for endgame players who could get like a double passive. So that's not bad. That's not bad. I saw it and I'm like, okay, you, you know, um, that was nerfed and uh, probably it was complained a lot and it actually was. So it was like, uh, all right, well, I'll, balance it out that was like my thinking and then 
the next one is Scorching Star, which gained a lot of popularity because um, the new uh, endgame players, the ones that were coming up, were going into like the Red Hives. Um, now, this is very interesting. It now caps at 10,000 ticks, which is down from 15,000 ticks. So, that's a buff, right? That's a, a drop of, uh, obviously, 5,000. So, that's, a, that's really cool. So, now you don't have to wait as long for, uh, f for the tick amount. The max red pollen and convert rate multiplier from Scorching Star Aura reduced times 5 down from 8.25. Ooh, your multiplier got reduced. Mm. So there's a reduction in ticks, but your multiplier has been reduced by quite a lot. So those who got a uh, Scorching Star, that stinks. That stinks, because over time, you're going to rely on that multiplier and you're really going to see how you're not going to get as much of a, of a bonus. And your max convert links increase to 30 from 25. However, however, you nerf your, um, your convert rate multiplier, but you do get five more convert links. So you'll have to see if it balances it out or you get more because you got two uh, nerfs, but, no, I'm sorry, you get, you get two buffs and one nerf, however, your one nerf is pretty big, and once again, that's to a red hive, remember, the other ones are to, uh, are neither to a red hive or a blue hive, uh, gummy star and guiding star, all buffs, Scorching Star, Red Hive, um, two buffs, one nerf. Now we go to Pop Star, which is a blue hive. The aura now starts at times two pollen, and capacity was at 1.5. It now grants four seconds of bubble bloat per bubble pop, which was which is a one second buff. The max capacity multiplier and conversion at Hive from Bubble Bloat has increased two times seven, which is uh, which is up from times six point five. The max of Pop Star Aura stacks changed to two hundred and fifty, which is up from two hundred, which is back to the original. The max blue pollen from Pop Star also increased to times four point five, which is up from point which is an up from a uh, four so what does this mean the only one that has all buffs uh, other than gummy star is um pop star which is what for blue hives which is what something that i've said is the new meta I said that the new meta is blue hives. Okay, red hives are still good, but with the buffs and the nerf, it doesn't look like it's going to increase it like a, a lot. So that's just like my thinking. Now, I did get a question on um on uh let's see what exactly was my question. Uh, my question, my question, my question. Let's this is my memory. What was my question? What was my question? My question has something to do with um my my hive and the red hives and this and that. Uh, okay, so now now I remember. Um, it had to do with the fact that I have a lot of red bees. So why don't I get um the scorching star? Yes, I was reading about the um stars. And um. The person uh, asked, why don't I get Scorching Star, and I become more of a Red Hive. Now, 
this is the reason why I had Scorching Star and I got rid of it. When I fast farm, I can't use a Scorching Star. Scorching Star is something that you would use if you're just regularly playing and you don't get that big amount. You know, you have to be just constantly playing, constantly playing. And you do reach your goal of whatever you set, 100 billion, 200 billion. But Scorching Star is not as great as people think. Unless you do get a lot of the uh, conversion, you know, unless you do get a lot of the um, multipliers, which they reduced, right? Th that's why, like, I want to know how it works. Now, when it comes to, um, why don't I have more red bees? I have all the red bees that are needed, I believe, for a red hive for a balanced red hive because I need colorless bees or uh, or the bees that I need just happen to be colorless bees they're attack bees they're bees that buff uh, your attack um, like the thing is w would I exchange a spicy bee for a lion bee no because the lion bee is going to take down crabby faster the lion bee is going to take down the snail faster the lion bee is going to do a lot that the spicy bee is not the lion bee is going to do for me certain fields faster than spicy bee is and i've seen red hives and if you're not going to gift them why have them right i could have like a lion bee not gifted and it's going to be stronger than uh th th than a spicy bee um, so that's one reason why. Another reason why is that if you have a red hive, you need, um, bees that will activate the Scorching Star. And that's either the Rad Bee, the Riley Bee, or the Shy Bee. Shy Bee is out because it has two tokens and, you, and it could be like a coin flip. Rad Bee, who wants a rare bee? So that goes to Riley B. So, so now you have to decide, well, which B am I going to take out to put the Riley B in? So that's like uh, another reason why I think a red hive actually includes more colorless bees than a person thinks. And of course, the um, common complaint is if you have a red hive, it kind of sucks with the blue hive. And as I said, I think the new meta is going to be the blue hive so a good red hive for me is the one that i have all right you guys take care i know this has been a long video i will do another video that's shorter than this that basically has to do with the same thing that won't uh, bore your attention you guys take care bye